Welcome to the RIMAX Academy. My name is Max and I am the AI avatar of RIMAX Lubricants. I am created to give technical trainings in the Academy, so it is my goal to become your trusted teacher when it comes to lubricants knowledge. Of course, you can still always reach out to the real people at the head office of RIMAX, and don't worry, I will not feel offended. This training is about the segment, Food Grade. Let's get started. Food Grade is a rapidly growing segment. Not surprisingly because of the ever-increasing regulations for food processing companies. The last thing such companies want is to be liable for health risks with food or drinks coming from their factories. And there are many examples where well-known companies such as Coca-Cola had to face big fines. With this increasing understanding of the importance to use high-quality approved lubricants, the whole segment rapidly grew over the last decade. But what does this segment actually look like? What is important? And why? We will look into all this in this video. The topics we will discuss in this training are 1. What is a food grade lubricant actually? 2. Why is it important that they exist? 3. What are the different categories in food grade lubricants? 4. What are the most important drivers in the industry? 5. What do you need to know about the specific working environment? And 6. What are the most important reasons to use food grade lubricants? First, let's talk a bit about the industry. The food grade lubricant market is expanding and expected to achieve an annual growth rate of 2.6% minimum and up till 7% maximum until 2033, so a significant and steady growth which makes it a very interesting segment. By 2030, the market is projected to reach a value of 520 million US dollars, which is an impressive growth based on its current valuation of 370 million dollars in 2023. And this is a conservative estimation. It is our strategy to get a good piece of this market since it is still relatively new and difficult for many competitors to penetrate, since quality and approvals are so important. The food and beverage processing industry presents unique challenges to lubricant formulation engineers, lubricant marketers, plant lubrication engineers, and equipment designers. While it is never desirable for lubricants to be allowed to contaminate raw materials, work in progress or finished product, the consequences of a lubricant contaminated product are rarely more acute than in the food processing industry. When it comes to food, beverage and pharmaceutical applications, food grade oils and food grade greases can play a significant role in preventing costly damage brought on by severe operating conditions to for example equipment. As such, Lubricants used in this industry have requirements, protocols, and performance expectations that go well beyond typical industrial lubricants. I believe that by now, we all can understand the importance of approved, high-quality products to be used in this industry. What I have told you so far is not to scare you off, but to show you the opportunities there are when you can use RIMAX lubricants to sell to existing or potential customers. If you can show them the high-quality and approved assortment of RIMAX, you will always find a listening ear. But what are exactly food grade lubricants? This is the exact definition of a food grade lubricant defined by the NSF. A food safe or food grade lubricant can be any industrial grease, oil, silicone or other lubricating substance that does not pose a risk when incidental contact occurs with products consumed by animals or humans. It cannot exceed a predetermined concentration to be considered safe. Food grade lubricants must meet the same standards as other lubricants, capable of performing the following technical functions Protect from normal wear and tear, protect against excessive friction, prevent corrosion and oxidation, dissipate heat to transfer power, offer compatibility with sealing materials, such as rubber, and provide a sealing effect where needed. The food and drug industry has a wide range of applications, with specific demands for food grade lubricants that include, but are not limited to, resistance to degradation when exposed to food products, water, steam, or chemicals, ability to dissolve sugars, and the lubricant possesses a neutral disposition toward elastomers and plastics. All food grade grease, lubricants, and food grade silicone must comply with state and federal health and safety regulations. The physical properties must also be physiologically inert, tasteless, odorless, and internationally approved. 
Now that we know the basics of what a food-grade lubricant actually is, we look closer at why they are important. Now, why is using a food-grade lubricant so important? While lubricants should never come in contact with manufactured goods, when contamination of food products occurs, the results can prove disastrous. Recalls rarely happen due to lubricant contamination, but when they do, it can be very costly for the manufacturer. In the food industry, processors of food and beverage items demand food-grade lubricants to efficiently meet their production demands and eliminate the risk of compromising on the safety of the products. Many lubricants are subject to extreme contaminants from the surrounding environment. For example, a milling factory can produce a significant amount of dust, creating a problem for the filtration systems. A meat processing plant, which requires regular steam cleaning, poses a high contamination risk due to the stringent daily washing procedures. As much as 15% of water by volume can come in contact with gear oils, resulting in a need for a durable food-safe lubricant capable of withstanding these types of harsh environments. The growth of yeast, fungi, bacteria, and other microorganisms also poses a significant risk of contamination to food-grade lubricants and oils. While the risk for contamination in industrial settings can be high, the contaminant risk level in the food production industry is even higher. Summarizing, we can say that food-grade lubricants are important because of the high risk when not using them. And not only is the risk high, it's also obligatory. Next, the lubricants used in the food-grade industry obviously need to meet the normal lubrication standards, but next to that they require a whole set of additional characteristics as well. And of course, they need to comply with hygiene protocols to prevent the growth of, for example, bacteria. To understand the requirements of food-grade lubricants, different categories have been made. We will now have a look at these categories. The main categories of food-grade lubricants are classified based on the risk of contact with food, feed, or pharmaceuticals. They are set out by the NSF. The most common designations are H1, H2, and 3H. H2 designated lubricants are like our normal lubricants, but used by food processing companies in areas where no contact with food, feed, or pharmaceuticals are possible, for example on a forklift. 3H lubricants are used in applications where direct contact would occur, such as a rust preventative product on a meat hook or a non-stick agent on a grill. The H1 designation is the most critical, as this category is for incidental actual contact with food products. I will explain you a bit more about these three main categories. H1 lubricants are tasteless, odorless, physiologically inert, and are suitable for incidental, technically unavoidable contact with a food product. They are used for machinery such as pumps, conveyor belts, and mixers, and for applications such as canning, blending, cooking, cutting, slicing, peeling, handling, bottling, and brewing. In facilities where food and beverage handling occurs, using NSF H1 registered lubricants allows for the elimination of potential contamination. Hazardous substances in and around food and beverage applications can be harmful to public health. Therefore, choosing a quality Rimax H1 lubricant product not only minimizes the risk of contamination, but also ensures the longevity and performance of your equipment and machinery. H1 lubricants are safe for human consumption in small amounts. Now for the H2 category. H2 lubricants are considered to be food grade, but are not specifically food safe products. H2 specific lubricants are for machinery that doesn't come in direct contact with food, such as a forklift. It is used in areas where there is no possibility of direct contact with food, beverages, or pharmaceutical products. The last main category is 3H. 3H lubricants are for use on hard surfaces in contact with meat and poultry to prevent food from adhering during processing. 3H lubricants are often edible oils and are safe for human consumption, such as corn oil, sunflower oil, soybean oil, or cottonseed oil. 3H lubricants are inherently biodegradable and often used to clean and prevent rust on equipment such as hooks, grills, conveyor belts, and trolleys. Over time, the classification of food-grade products has become a bit more complex. The three main categories that we just discussed are now evolved into the following. H1. Lubricants for universally applied applications where incidental contact with food products is likely. HX1. Where lubricants have incidental food contact. 
H2 lubricants are used on operating equipment that is vital to the manufacturing plant but will not come in contact with food products. HT1 are the same as H1, but now specifically for heat transfer applications. 3H release agents are lubricants that will often come in contact with food. Unlike H1, 3H lubricants can be used as food additives, like a divider oil. C1 is the classification for cleaners and or degreasers. This product is acceptable for use in inedible product processing areas and or exterior areas. K1 is a solvent-based cleaner for non-food processing areas. And finally K2, the classification used for solvent cleaners for electronic equipment. Considering all these different classifications and realizing the importance for safety, I want to emphasize to always check with your customers what exact classification he requires and to consult with your RIMAX Lubricants account manager for the right product. I know that all these different categories might be a bit hard to understand. As said, talking to your customer and your account manager is very important, but to educate yourself a bit more in this field, you can consult the NSF Quick Reference Guide. All the food safe product codes are in there, including simple and short descriptions. You can find this quick reference guide on the website of NSF. Now that we've learned about the important different classifications, let's look into what drives the food processing industry to look for these specific products. The drivers for the food processing industry are mostly institutions that compose and control certain standards in relation to companies working with food, beverages, animal feed, and pharmaceutical products. Although this is maybe a bit boring, it is important to know of these institutions and their regulations, as you might face their requirements when selling food-grade lubricants. Companies and institutions that you should think of are the EC Directive on Food Hygiene, or HACCP, the Global Gap Integrated Farm Assurance, or IFA, the regulations set out by the Good Manufacturing Practice, the EC Directive for Hygiene Standard of Food Processing Machines, the FSSC ISO 22000 standard. The regulations set out by the British Retail Consortium, or BRC. The Product Liability Law Directive from 1985. And of course, the various requirements set out by insurance companies or local regulations that might apply in your country. Another very important driver to work with food-grade lubricants are the requirements set by certain religions when it comes to preparing food. These are known by the name of halal and kosher. You have probably heard of this. Kosher food is prepared, conform the dietary regulations of the Judaism beliefs. And halal food is prepared, conform to Islamic dietary regulations. These regulations explain what is permitted and forbidden when preparing food, such as what animal species or food ingredients are used, and how the food is handled. Religious representatives need to be able to assess the raw materials used in the process, how it is manufactured and with what equipment, and how it is stored. Moving on to the next topic, we look at the various requirements that define specific working environments. There are a couple of certain workplace environments that are typical for food processing companies and where food-grade lubricants need to deal with. To start, these are places where there is a lot of water, for example, because of the continuous cleaning. And because of the necessity to clean, aggressive cleaning agents are very common. Fresh products usually require low temperatures, while processing food often requires high temperatures, for example for baking. This requires the lubricant to be flexible to large temperature fluctuations. Also, food processing factories tend to have 24 hours, 7 days operations, so practically non-stop. This puts very specific requirements on the durability of the lubricants. And a final characteristic of a food processing work environment is the variation in speeds from very fast turning gearboxes or fans to slow conveyor belts and baking ovens and everything in between. Are you still with me? Don't worry, we are approaching the end of this training. But first, let's summarize the key reasons for using a food grade lubricant. Summarizing, we can pinpoint four main reasons that underline the importance of using specific food-grade lubricants. When visiting potential customers in this segment to present the RIMAX Lubricants food-grade assortment, it is important that you can explain the following four main reasons. First, and I would say most important, 
safety. If you work with H1 approved products, you can guarantee the absence of toxic materials and components. Also, you will not have MOSH and MOA issues. The buildup of these harmful hydrocarbons can cause kidney failure and cancer, but when working with food safe lubricants, this risk is eliminated and you tackle the specific requirements that certain religions put to the preparation of food, mostly known as halal for Muslims and kosher for Judaism. Secondly, and also very important, the improved economical value of food-grade lubricants. Because of their technical characteristics, their lifetime is up to five times longer than conventional lubricants. Also, they show much better anti-wear and anti-rust properties, which is also needed, considering the workplaces these products are used in. But this automatically means they they have a big advantage over normal products. And in some cases, the volume consumed can be reduced by 75% just by switching from conventional products to food-grade products. So financial savings are definitely an important reason to use Rimax food-grade products. Third key reason is rationalization, or, in other words, making your purchasing, storing, and usage of lubrication products smarter. You should think of the higher performance of these products, easier stock keeping because you need less different products, and you reduce the risk of having to mix products which might lead to unwanted contamination. Finally, and also an important reason in these days, using Rimax food grade products leads to a lower carbon food print. Why? Because of the high specifications of these synthetic products, machines suffer less from friction resulting in smoother operation. This in turn leads to a lower energy consumption which reduces the carbon emissions of a plant or factory. So, by memorizing these arguments and making these part of your sales pitch, you will be able to be a trusted and professional consultant to your potential food manufacturing clients. Well, you've made it. We've come to the end of this video and you finished your first training for the segment of food grade products. Great job! You know Rimax from the impressive racing oils high-quality heavy-duty oils, sophisticated industrial oils, and so much more. But you can now also venture into this very promising and interesting segment with a lot of growth potential for the future, using the new and very well-received line of food-grade products produced by Rimax Lubricants. I will use the last minute of your time to quickly show you the different Rimax products for the food-grade segment that we have now available. Rimax offers food-safe products in six categories. Hydraulics, gears, compressors, greases, a smart multi-purpose oil, and a selection of useful other products. The Hydra hydraulic oils come in six different grades and are all NSFH1 approved. You will also find Eco products here, which are biodegradable. The Gavitro gear oils also come in six different grades, based on mineral and PAO technology, making them suitable for many applications. All H1 approved. Rimax Boreas compressor oils come in two different base oils, each in three grades, also H1 approved. For the food safe greases, we have two options, Aludax and Kazdax, based on respectively aluminum complex and calcium sulfonate thickeners. Our most versatile product is the Rimax Multilube in four grades. With as much as three NSF approvals, this product can be used in many circumstances. To wrap it up, we have a selection of very useful products to complete our current assortment the Rimax Hygia Eco, which is our biodegradable degreaser. Next to that, our Rimax Katina Full Synthetic Chain Oil and our Rimax Notice FG, which you already know is our appreciated Notice A40, but now optimized for food-grade applications. All NSF approved. On the Rimax Partner Portal, when you go to Product Brochure, you can find our complete food-grade catalog. Also, you can find information on our approvals here, but most importantly, Look in your market for potentially interesting customers for this segment, find out what they use now and what they need, and call your Rimax account manager to put together a perfect lubrication plan that will put you in a great position to become their trusted supplier. For now, thank you very much for listening and watching this training video. You can watch this video as often as you want, and you can share it with your team members. It is however meant for internal training purposes, so please do not share it with people outside your organization. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Max and I hope to see you again very soon in the Rimax Academy.